everybody. I am Stephanie Mazzola from um, SVM Artistic Designs and now that my canvas is flooded, um, I just a little bit about myself. I've been doing art probably since as a kid. Um, third grade, I actually um, did this beautiful project with this gorgeous multicolored, multifaceted flower and I won an art camp contest. And since then, I think I've kind of been hooked. Um, I went to just doing plain art as a kid to um, designing t-shirts and sweatpants and sweatshirts and all that kind of stuff when that was in, and I'm showing my age. And then I went to um, just doing just the basic art stuff. Um, then I actually, from at that point, I went to doing furniture. I love refurbishing and repainting furniture. Um, I can actually put some links together um, and show you some of the things I've done. And I've been very successful with that, actually. Um, you know, and then the window comes around. <clears throat> and as you can see, I'm, I'm, I've taken over my dining room. My hutch is actually my, my art station. <laughs> and I have another hutch with other art stuff. Um, but um, it's a little bit difficult when you don't really have a studio. You have to kind of make do with what space you have. And the furniture I do inside of my garage and of course in the winter time it's a little bit too cold to be doing furniture. So I decided I wanted to do something that was indoors and now so then I switched over a couple of years ago and I started doing some resin art which I, I love. Um, I've got a ton of projects I've done. I've done <laughs> a million Christmas presents, um, you know things for the kids, notebooks and clipboards and wine caddies and uh, all sorts of stuff. I know, I'm losing my train of thought here, but uh, anyway, um, you know, like I said, now this winter again, I decided I wanted to do something um, that I could do indoors and still enjoy, and I am totally addicted to fluid art. So let's get started. Now that my canvas is um, completely flooded, I'm actually going to start with a little bit of Prussian blue, and then I'll do a little bit of a blowout, maybe two flowers. Not exactly the neatest person either, so bear with me if I do some grips. And I am so, so in love with the um, pearl colors from Amsterdam. I'm going to try a little bit of that. How I mix my paints. Let's see. Um, I actually have a couple of different um recipes i uh, like using um i have the mix all um from kristen that i saw from cos creations so i use that i also use the shelly bloom technique um that i've seen online uh i didn't actually take the class so i can't take um credit for her particular style um but i did love what that kind of uh, mixture gave me. And then I just kind of incorporated it into my own and obviously Floetrol and GAC 800. Maybe I'll throw a little bit of pinks in there. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we've got. Oh, this is a good pink. I love this one. Okay, and I couldn't even tell you what it is. Oh, and those color art colors, oh, and they're amazing. I'm just trying to try to keep it somewhat simple. I have a tendency of too much, <laughs> too much paint, too much, a lot of stuff. Um, maybe just one more pearl color. Pearl violet, pearl blue. Look at that ring already. All right. Give me a torch. Make sure I got no bubbles. Cell activator. 
I just so love black. As you can see, all of my stuff is a mess. <laughs> I make these up a little bit ahead of time just so I don't have to mix paints every single day. Alrighty, there we go. Trying to get my blow dryer out. Ah, it would help if I plugged it in. Hold on. Be right back. Oops. Sorry for the noise. Not best at blowing, but we'll see what we can do. I got my little tool. This is my helper. are a little thick. Went down too far. That's good. Maybe we should do the other side. Try that out. Love that Prussian blue and the pinks. I'll do another one. They need to be thinned out a little bit. So, mix this and see. This one's not too bad. Maybe it's the pink. my other blow dryer this time. There's a little squirt of water. Eat it like an egg.
I know this looks like a mess, but I do have everything color coordinated. cells going. It. So, it's not that bad. I'll take it down. We can take a look and see. Maybe get my port torch first. <clears throat> Pop any bubbles. paints that you have to wait and see. Give it a little time because those colors will pop up as it dries. All those pearl colors. This part right here. A little better. See how that turns out. I'll bring you down so you can take a look. Right. So, let's see. Where are, where's my thing? Didn't come out too bad. Okay, we'll wait for it to dry, and then we'll see how it turns out. Thank you.
Thank you.